When we talk about the internet as a network of computer networks, we're actually being literal. Routing on the internet is not done from computer to computer. Routing is actually done from computer network to computer network. It's done between the computer networks that make up the internet, which are also referred to as autonomous systems, or ASs. The University of Buffalo, where we've crawled into this strange concrete nook, um, operates an autonomous system that is part of the internet. Each autonomous system has a number. UB has a number, I don't know what it is. Um, and those autonomous systems are responsible um, for the, the way that traffic is routed on the internet is between these autonomous systems. It's actually not between hosts. So if the University of Buffalo wants, to, if someone here wants to send a packet somewhere else, the first thing they have to do is they have to find a router within the University of Buffalo's autonomous system. Now all the routing that's done on campus and the maintenance of this campus network is the, responsible, the responsibility of the maintainer of that autonomous system. So UB's network engineers um, and network administrators are responsible for setting up and maintaining the network that UB operates, UB's autonomous system, hence the fact that it's autonomous. It is operated independently from other networks that are part of the broader internet. So UB engineers you know, lay all the cables, set up all the internal routing structures, uh, install the wireless uh, capabilities and other things. That's their job. Um, now, with, so the first thing you do when you send a message on the internet is you have to get it out of your own autonomous system. So that's the responsibility of UB. Then that packet is going to be transmitted from autonomous system to autonomous system until it reaches the autonomous system or the network that the destination of the packet resides in. And then once the packet reaches the destination autonomous system, it's that network's responsibility to make sure that the packet reaches its destination. So routing on the internet really happens on two levels. First, and at the very end, it happens within each autonomous system, and then it happens between these autonomous system networks to transmit the packets for longer distances. UB's autonomous system actually connects to two other autonomous systems, at least, it might be more than that. Um, and, but that actually, but UB actually doesn't route packets for other networks. And so there's this distinction between an autonomous system like UB's that has multiple connections, which is referred to as multi-homed, and then an autonomous system that might be operated by a network um, internet service provider that is actually what's referred to as a transit autonomous system. So a transit autonomous system will route packets from one autonomous system to another across their network. So the concept of autonomous system is uh, pretty important from the perspective of computer network, networking. It's what allows the internet uh, to work as well as it does because the maintenance of each one of these independent networks is left up to the network operators, but by establishing the IP protocol, it allows all of these different networks to interconnect. So the maintenance of the internet is really um, divided among all the people that operate each autonomous system, but the IP protocol allows the autonomous systems to agree about how traffic should move between their networks and make sure that a packet that starts anywhere on the internet can reach anywhere else on the internet. Uh, maybe I'll just hold the jacket for this one.